Hi, I'm Brian Shaw, health educator with Sacramento Native American Health Center. Welcome to another continuing education episode of the Health Education Minute, where we take about 60 seconds to talk about a health topic that reinforces and adds to your current knowledge. Today I'm at the airport, as you can see, and I'm flying off to an as yet undisclosed location. So come on and follow me on this journey and we'll talk about a topic that has to do with the integrity of the practice of medicine. Come on along. These letters after my name, most of them are certifications that demonstrate my credentials as being an expert in various areas of health. So working in the medical field carries with it huge amounts of responsibility, including making sure that we are up to date with the most accurate and timely information that will inspire patients' trust in us, as well as make sure that their treatment is the most effective. Earning continuation credit hours to keep our certifications up to date is one of the best ways to make sure that our information is up to date and the most reliable. Earning continuation education credit hours does involve things like publishing in journals, conducting research studies, being on leadership teams, as well as attending conferences. It is a sweltering day here in Houston. I'm here at the George Brown Convention Center, where for the next four days, these halls will be bustling with health educators who want to attend the ADCES 23 conference. This conference is where certified diabetes care and education specialists like myself learn the latest and greatest information. Lots of people in this field attend conferences to help them fortify their knowledge and practice. And this means choosing conference sessions sometimes over multiple days that present topics of interest told by the experts doing the work and presenting their research findings. Poster sessions with results of research studies are also available to view. So Cheryl, can you tell us what's required every five years to maintain a certification? So there are several ways, but the most common and the most popular way is our family awareness to take continuing education, the 79 hours over the five-year time frame, and the practice hours are renewal practice requirements. So that's great to expand it over the initial, and that's a thousand hours worth of Excellent, thank you. I was also able to determine that attending sessions at this conference counts for continuing education for my other credential, my MCHES. There's even an exhibition hall where you can meet with companies in the diabetes treatment field and ask questions. But eventually the time comes to go home and get back to work. Phew. So after four days of continuing education packed full of information on the diagnosis, treatment, and management of diabetes, I'm ready to get back to work with new information, new energy, and new insights into patient care. So there you have it, a little bit about the ongoing practice and the credibility of doing this work. Patients count on their doctors and their care team to provide them with helpful, trustful, and current information, and getting continuing education is one way to do this. And remember, if you want more of the Health Education Minute, watch and subscribe to Snack's YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll see you right here.